hello! Today we are going to tell you about our most advanced cable fault locator TDR 4.7. This is the latest uh, equipment produced by Techno EC Russia, uh, which features some uh, major functions which are mostly required uh, in the international market. First of all, uh, let me show you the contents of uh, the supply which comes uh, with the device. First of all, the TDR itself. It's a time domain reflectometer with a color screen and IP65 protected case. Also, uh, there is a user manual in English which will help you to understand how to use this device better. Also, there is a charger uh, which uh, charges the accumulators which are built in uh, the device. Also, uh, we have 3 meter connection leads uh, for the cables and uh, some uh, extension wires for some other features of this device which I will try to describe you uh, a bit later. Main features of this device are the following. First of all, this device is capable of cable fault location up to 256 kilometers. It means that if you connect it uh, to power cable or telecom cable or any other kind of cable and uh, it's its length is uh, 200 kilometers or even more, this device will locate and indicate the, the fault and it will be able to tell you what kind of fault is that. Also, this device uh, features a color TFT display which is uh, protected from the cold and uh, this, this display allows you to see uh, the measurement of the distance and to, to indicate the type of the fault. Also, this device has built-in uh, operating software and uh, this uh, allows us to store the information about the located faults in its memory and uh, later upload it to your personal computer uh, through USB port uh, which is uh, on the face panel. Also this device uh, combines several fault location methods and uh, the first one and the most important of course is uh, TDR time, time domain reflectometry this is the process when the zonda pulse is reflected from the spot of uh, cable fault it can be two phase short circuit or complete breakage of the cable and many many other uh, faults also this device supports ARM method of location and also ICE and DK. All of these uh, methods uh, can be used with um, the transmitter, uh, high voltage transmitter also manufactured by Techno EC, which is called GITA. Okay, so uh, before uh, demonstrating how does the thing works, I would like to say uh, that you can check uh, if it works uh, internally here and we will be doing the following. We will be checking if the uh, device is capable of showing uh, of any faults and we will do this easily by connecting uh, two leads of the device like this. Yeah, we will do it like this. So when I'm connecting the leads, the device will indicate the short circuit uh, because you see that two leads are shortened between each other. When I disconnect the leads, uh, the device will indicate open circuit and it will also, uh, <coughs> the same way it will also indicate the fault in the cable. A little bit more about the specifications of this device. This device is IP65 protected because it has a rugged case uh, which provides uh, full protection. Also, uh, as I told you, this device uh, has a colorful TFT display in built memory and uh, also uh, it has the Zonda Pulse width from 10 uh, nanoseconds to 100 milliseconds. 
it means that you can select any uh, pulse width uh, within this range and you can test almost any cable. Also, we have a lot of questions about these devices. Which cables can be tested with uh, this particular device? Uh, I mean, of which voltage? High voltage, 33 kilovolts or more or less. Any cable can be tested with this particular device. Uh, if it has at least through conductors, to connect the leads of the of uh, the TDR it can be tested first of all you have to remove all the voltage and current com completely from the cable second of all uh, you have to use megometer to check the if if there is a high resistance uh, fault on the cable only after that you have to connect the TDR and test the cable and uh, don't forget to discharge the cable after you are using the megometer because it can damage you so be careful okay uh, I think that uh, we gave you enough uh, specifications for more information you can visit our website technoec.com also there will be a link in the description of this video to this equipment on our website and uh, now I'm proposing to go outside and to see how does this thing work in field conditions let's go we are outside our building and uh, we are on our test field and today we will demonstrate and show you how to use TDR 4.7 in real working conditions we are going to locate uh, two types of faults uh, today. We will try to indicate them and measure the distance from the point of connection to the spot of actual uh, cable fault. But first of all, uh, let me show you our test field so you could get the idea uh, how does it look like. So the polygon is uh, 50 meters of low voltage cable with uh, simulated uh, faults and uh, we will be able to show you these faults with uh, TDR 4.7. So let's do this. First of all we will take 3 meter BNC cable which is supplied with the time domain reflectometer and connect it to TDR port of the device. You place it like this and rotate it to make sure that uh, the, the cable is connected properly. The other end of uh, BNC 3 meter cable we will connect to the conductors of our test cable on our test field. When you are using TDR on a real cable make sure that it doesn't carry any voltage because it can be dangerous. For this particular cable, uh, for test purposes, we, ha we have no voltage here. And we have split all the conductors for easy connections. So let us connect uh, the cable to the black and yellow, green-yellow conductors of test cable. And let's see what we can find. When we have connected the cable to the conductor of the faulty cable, we can turn on the device, press on off button and wait till the software of uh, the time domain reflectometer will start. It will take approximately one minute. When device is on, we can see its main menu and uh, in order to start the fault location we will have to press F10 button which starts uh, the measurement of the device. When we press start button we can see uh, the main screen of uh, the measurement and uh, we can see two cursors cursor 2 and cursor 1. These are two points uh, between which uh, TDR uh, will uh, measure the distance and uh, in order to start the location of the fault in the cable we will press start. As you can see uh, we're having a diagram here and uh, we also can see the distance uh, 
to the most major difference uh, in the graph to the first one and it is uh, 40 meters uh, by pressing K1, K2 button we can switch to cursor 2 and adjust the position of cursor in order to specify uh, the spot where we are having our damage. This particular part of graph indicates that we have located the breakage of the cable. So the cable is split open at 41 meters. It means that if we go 41 meters uh, alongside the cable, we will be able to spot this fault. Uh, make sure that you are aware of the accuracy of this device and the accuracy of this device is 12 and a half centimeters. Uh, let us reconnect the cable uh, so we could see uh, what other uh, damages this device can find. Now uh, we will reconnect the crocodile clamps to other two conductors of the cable. We will place the red one to the grey conductor and the black one to the brown conductor and see what uh, fault we will be able to find. After entering to the main menu we press F10 button again and then uh, we start the measurement by pressing F7 button and as you can see in this particular case you can see that uh, the graph is going down it means that uh, there is a short circuit between uh, two conductors of the cable and this short, uh, short circuit is also uh, done on the same distance, 41 meters. And by pressing K1, K2, we can switch uh, between the cursors and adjust the measurement. Make uh, sure that you're aware that uh, distance to the fault is measured from the point of connection to the actual spot of the fault. So by moving cursor one three meters more you will exclude the length of the cable which is supplied with uh, uh, the TDR so we had 41 and we will have to set up 38 meters and uh, this is how we can know that uh, the fault uh, the distance of the fault is uh, 38 meters from the point of connection also, uh, please note that the distance indicated by the device is not real distance, it's electric distance. So if uh, the cable uh, has coils or if it's, it's moving left or right, uh, the, the distance will be indicated only as electrical distance. You can, uh, after measuring and indicating the fault, you can press save button and save uh, the measurement in device memory. And then by using USB flash drive, you can upload it to your local PC. And also you can create uh, a report, test report for this particular measurement and see uh, and uh, file this report to your client or to your manager. So we have located two most common cable faults with TDR 4.7 just a little reminder that you can upload the data from the device to USB drive or you can save it inside the device itself and uh, generally this device can locate the faults up to 256 kilometers with accuracy uh, of 12 centimeters so you can see that it is quite powerful cable fault locator and if you require such equipment in your business or in your enterprise, you can use the contact details which are given below in the description of this video. Or you can call us, send us a WhatsApp message or an email anytime. We will be, re we will be glad to send you the information and provide the quotation for this device. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. You can find more details at our website technoec.com. Subscribe to our channel for the latest videos.